Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I am full of tossing to the dawn. A reading from the book of Job. Job spoke saying, Has not man a hard service upon earth? And are not his days like the days of a hurling? Like a slave who longs for the shadow, and like a hurling who looks for his wages. So I am allotted months of emptiness, and nights of misery are apportioned to me. When I lie down, I say, when shall I arise? But the night is long, and I am full of tossing till the dawn. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle, and come to their end without hope. Remember that my life is a breath. My eye will never again see good. The word of the Lord.
if I do not preach the gospel. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, if I preach the gospel, that gives me no ground for boasting, for necessity is laid upon me. Woo to me if I do not preach the gospel. For if I do this of my own will, I my own will, I am entrusted with a commission. What then is my reward? Just this, that in my preaching, I may make the gospel free of charge, not making in the gospel. For though I am free from all men, I have made myself a slave to all, that I might win the more. To the weak I became weak, that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel, that I may share in its blessings. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus went with James and John straight to the house of Simon and Andrew. Now, Simon's mother-in-law had gone to bed with fever, and they told him about her straight away. He went to her, took her by the hand, and helped her up. And the fever left her, and she began to wait on them. That evening after sunset, they brought to him all who were sick, and those who were possessed with devils. The whole town came crowding round the door, and he cured many who were suffering from diseases 
of one kind or another. He also casts out many devils, but you would not allow them to speak because they knew he was. In the morning, long before dawn, he got up and left the house and went off to a lonely place and prayed there. Simon and his companions set out in search of him, and when they found him, they said, Everybody is looking for you. He answered, Let us go elsewhere to the neighboring country towns so that I can preach there too, because that is why I came. And he went all through Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and casting out demons. The Gospel of the Lord. Friends, I begin this reflection fully conscious that life is beautiful and it is worth living. Yet, I am not blind to the fact that many of us here have come riddled with problems facing a lot of challenges. For some of us, it's, it's illness, which just can't go away. We've been sick, we've been ill for a long time, and that troubles us. Some of us are having to contend with a relative we are looking after maybe for months or for years and we are faced with a lot of hospital bills we have to look after them and it's taking a toll on us for some of us it's just it's just a child maybe they They are gripped with drug abuse, but they are our child, and we still have to look after them, and that's taking a toll on us. For some of us, it's just we've been through this for a long time. We cannot move around. But that's the reality of our life. We feel we have suffered so much. You can name it, friends. Whatever it is, life is beautiful, but we face many difficulties in this beautiful life. And these difficulties challenge us. They challenge our faith. And this deep struggle that we face can sometimes lead us to have many questions. To question God. To question whether he really loves us. Whether he really loves me. Because if he's a good God and he loves me, he would not let me go through this difficulty. It leads us to question even the existence of God. Is there God out there? And the, diff the readings today, I think, they capture this, this struggle, this tension of why there is a good God and yet we have to go through this suffering. 
Let's go to the first reading <clears throat> from the book of Job. I think he articulated very well. You can, you can feel him when he speaks. He says, Is not man's life on earth drudgery? I've been assigned months of misery and troubled nights have been allotted to me. Then the night drags on and on and never seems to end. I am filled with restlessness until dawn. My days come to an end without hope. I shall not see happiness. Job is, is weary. He is worried. He is anxious. He is angry. He is depressed. He is discouraged. A lot is going on in his life. Friends, I, I think what Job is saying here, we've said it at some point. We've had that experience where we don't have the power to, to continue to move in life. We feel so much has been on our way. Now, I want you to notice Job's disillusionment, his discouragement. He says in that statement that I just read, I shall not see happiness anymore. For me, I call it an illusion. The illusion that because of the experience that I'm going through right now, life is never going to be good again. I shall not see happiness again in my life. Yet, I think it's an illusion because when we go to scripture, it says in Psalm 30 verse 5, Troubles do not last forever. That weeping may endure for a night, but joy will come with the morning light. Friends, have you ever noticed that sometimes you'll be in town and it will be raining cats and dogs and there's traffic congestion. You believe that it's raining everywhere. You are never going to make it. But once you cross, cross the flyover to Shtungiza, just after the cocoa, you see it's dry. There is, there is no rain. It's completely dry. It's wet where you are. You cannot see because of the rain where you are right now. But it doesn't mean that it's raining everywhere. If you keep moving, there will be dry places. But the illusion that Job has is that life is over. It will never be good again. But that is not the case. Yes, we have those questions because of our experience. Why? And we're full of anger. We do not understand many things. And no explanation can be enough to capture our experience at this moment and we cannot fully explain it. But remember, the mistake Job made is to have this illusion that because it is winter, summer will never come at some point. Now I want to say something about suffering. I know this may not be acceptable to everyone, but I, I, I believe that God sometimes permits trouble for us for, for, for different reasons. I think God permits trouble to direct us. Often, when we face problems, when we face challenges, they direct us to a new, they take us to a new direction and motivate us. Sometimes situations make us change the course we are taking. I am reminded of uh, Proverbs chapter 20 verse 30 which says, Blows and wounds cleanse away evil and beatings purge 
to the inmost being. Perhaps there are some people here who can testify. In their youth, in their early days, they enjoyed, they made a lot of mistakes. But now they can say, maybe I don't regret the problems I faced when I was young because they pointed me to the right direction. I see some adults making mistakes now that I made years ago and I've taken a new direction in my life. Problems inspect us. They have a way of showing us what we are made of. Sometimes our, our faith is weak, it's feeble, because it has not been shaken. When it is shaken in a strong way, sometimes it, is, it, it, it makes us introspect. It makes us look at ourselves in a deeper way and purifies our faith as it were. <clears throat> and sometimes problems actually correct us and God allows them. Because some lessons are not learned in class. Some lessons are not learned in theory. Some lessons are learned difference through pain and through failure and through suffering. I want you to go to Psalms chapter 1, uh, chapter 119, verse 71 to 72, where the, the singer says, it was good for me to be afflicted so that I might learn your decrees. And says later in that passage, before I was afflicted, I strayed, but now I keep your word. Sometimes it takes fire to purify us. It takes pain to correct us, to show us the right path. Have you ever uh, taken it this way? That sometimes problems that we face in our lives actually protect us. I was thinking of somebody who might be on the way to the airport and they have a minor accident, they are frustrated about it, they are not happy about it, they miss the plane and the plane actually crashes and everyone loses their life. They were angry about this minor accident in their life but actually it turned out to be a protection for them. Sometimes the challenges that we go through, I'm not glorifying them. I'm not, I'm not saying we should accept problems. But there are times when what we go through might actually be saving us a lot of trouble and might even be good for us. So friends, I'm not in any way demeaning or undermining the suffering that you might be going through. But I'm saying, is it not worth it for you to take a deep breath, take a step backwards, ponder your need, and see what does God want in my life with what I'm going through? Could there be a purpose for God? Could it be something that is drawing me closer to him? You could surprise yourself, might find yourself embracing this suffering instead of resenting, resenting it. And yet, that's one side of the story. In the gospel reading, that's Job talking about his suffering. In the gospel reading, we are actually being encouraged to run to God in prayer when we face suffering. And so we are told that Simon Peter's mother-in-law was not feeling well. Uh, they say in that passage, they say they immediately told him about it. When it was evening after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. And the whole town was gathered at the door and cured many who were sick with various diseases and drove out many demons. What I, I noticed there is that many people who were facing problems were helped immediately by Jesus. 
they were assisted because they were either they either went to Jesus for help or they were brought to Jesus for help and so in as much as suffering is a reality friends we must not suffer in silence we must not even suffer alone first all of us need to turn to Jesus and to pray when we are facing challenges but we also have a responsibility all of us to look after each other to look after one another and never to to have eyes that see not just to greet people and pass by but to be able to read their emotions to see what they are going through and to pray for them maybe from a distance but sometimes to actually bring them to Jesus so that they can be assisted i always repeat that story of alves a, a swimmer an olympic champion who dove into the pool when there was a, 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 a huge uh, tournament in budapest but then while underwater the coach noticed that there's something wrong and he immediately dove again into the water and rescued alves and saved a life in the process those who looked at this incident said if maybe a minute had passed she was going to die but somebody saw something saw that she was under water and needed to be brought above the water by somebody to be rescued to be able to breathe sometimes dear friends life presses and presses us under water and we feel overwhelmed we need people around us to see that we are drowning and to help us and there are many people around us who need us to see that we are suffering and who can rescue us before we drown before we lose our life now you can see from these two readings that yes job is saying there is suffering and sometimes it's for a purpose but there is the gospel reading which is reminding us that even when we suffer god is there to help us and we need to turn to the lord but everything happens for a purpose i call it the doctrine of divine decision sometimes god allows us to suffer but sometimes he actually attends to our situation even in the gospel you can see this tension between the allowing of suffering and the help that we get from god we are told that those who were brought to him were helped immediately but we are also told that at some point when people said there are more people who need help he said let us go to the other town and so not everyone was helped immediately other people were left and he had to go to another town to help people immediately when you are not helped now it doesn't mean that god is not going to help you it simply means you didn't receive the help now but you will receive it at some point i want to recite this hymn for you which i found uh, somewhere which says you don't have to worry and don't don't you be afraid joy comes in the morning troubles they don't last always for there is a friend in jesus who will wipe your tears away and if your heart is broken just lift your hands and say i know that i can make it i know that i can stand no matter what may come my way my life is in your hands friends just lift your hands today and say i know that i can make it i know that i can stand no matter what may come my way my life is in god's hands let us rise for the profession of faith i believe in one god father almighty maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible 
I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ. The only begotten God. All of you are through a God from God, a light from light, true God from true God, begotten not to me, <coughs> consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For our sake in the house of worship, he came down from heaven. And I am God of spirit. That he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He accepted death and was buried. And on the third, on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. In this kingdom we have no end. I believe in one of Jesus. He will walk, he will fly, he will proceed from the Father and the Son. I believe in one God better than Apostle Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. So we're going to be led in petitions by the children. So please come forward. Lord, we pray for Tebo, Tandeka, and Tandi Kagondo who have been left by their mother. Be close to them, always protecting them, loving them, and guide them. Lord, hear us. Lord God, we pray for wisdom so that we be at your service and seek to do your will. Let us pray to the Lord. Marbaba, Tirukuna Matrava Navose Mikad Zose, Bawane Rugare, Mukura Kwavo, Baguana, Savano, Denisavano Shuli, Tinsu Mam. That we be true disciples who bring people close to God and live God. We pray that we hear your voice of truth. Mwari Baba, tipeo moyo mnyoro, wakafana na no moyo wenyu. Woku nzira tzizi, izo nerira, ziruku chema, tinzo Almighty God, we bring our intercessions to you through your healing Son who bore our, weak, our sickness and endured our suffering. Lead us to glory as the risen Lord who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's glory. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant we pray that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and ever. Give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created humanity and when they were, they were justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed them through Christ our Lord. Through them, through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions, adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed shed of him worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with us in humble praise as we acclaim.
you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have yours worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints we are pleased to do throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. And forgive those who trespass against us. Yea, we are not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, and now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, we live and reign forever and ever. Amen. There is a lady who was attending Mass for two years and nobody noticed her. On this particular day, she was uh, huge. So on this particular day, she put on what we call an Adidas. Uh, Adidas. We call it Adidas, where I come from. And um, a jersey. It was yellow and a yellow jersey and a yellow cap and yellow um, football shoes. We call them shooters. So she put that as well. And then she sat in front. And there was commotion throughout mass. People were not able to concentrate. They were looking at her and they were like, oh. and then the priest tried, you know, tried to compose himself throughout Mass, pretending nothing is happening. But after Mass, he stood outside and he said, Mama, do you think what you did is, is okay? You know, uh, maybe <laughs> shouldn't, maybe it's not good. He said, now you noticed me. I've been coming here for two years. <laughs> and you never took notice of me. Because of this scandal, I am now popular. <laughs> Friends, it's now time to offer each other the sign of peace. Let us not wait for people to be dramatic to notice them.
behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy.
Let us pray. O oh God, we have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice. Grant, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. So now I'm going to invite the missionary child maybe to come in front. Right uh, over Wait a little bit here. Boy, I know to many presentation, but you can come here first. So there are some who are going to make a presentation, but uh, they are also going to be having the second collection. So those who are seated, please come. May you rise. So, <laughs> yes. Vamuachi tayoku tora, patsime vamangachi tawara isha tor wanuk tengesa. She tawara isha makaronga. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. In this month, we have been called to spread the gospel, so we begin here. We are all children of God, called to pray, evangelize, help and help without ceasing, praying in truth. Be exemplary. Set the pace for us. We lean on you. Let's leave God in truth, live what we preach and what we hear. If we can only hear the voice of God and his call to serve him all the time, won't it be good? Let's not close our ears to the needy. Hear us. We stand for them and reach out. God loves us every day with no condition. So let's also be lovers in truth. We are his image. To you, little ones, rise and shine. Shino motaza kupinda denga yere, no kunyima kana kushahanya, neva diki ilawa. Do you all not know? Chitendero chisina mabasa chakafa. Let us be what we are, what we are taught by the living Lord. Be the way to God in truth. Let's build the house of God together. You lose something to gain something. You lose something to gain something. Sacrifices for God. What is good for you as a child is to remain committed to the Lord, then everything will be given to you. Turn it That's natural kujagana chokunwa. Daiva rum mari, bauti pa wenjikere, tizive, so kurara mir. Tokwa nai panze, msazo manire mmotam sati maska pate. Maita nok tere, mrambi magadar, nemoyo ye nyo rudo yo, marve marvedwa no kudai school. Thank you. There will be 
tickets that would be sold for only five dollars. And there will also be five prizes to be won. The first prize will be a hamper. The second prize would be a family meal. The third prize would be Easter candy basket. The fourth prize would be a rosary. The fifth prize would be a branded cap with the totem. Thank you. Please buy and they will be outside. Brothers and sisters, may we put our hands together in thanksgiving to the Lord Almighty for the Eucharistic celebration of today. We thank Father Mark for saying Mass for us today. Thank you, Father. And thank you to the missionary childhood for leading Mass and for all the other ministries for working to make this Mass a success. Thank you. We will kindly ask if we have visitors or those joining us for Mass for the first time today, we will kindly ask you to stand so we may welcome you. Kanatine Bayenzi. Thank you very much for coming to worship with us today. And should you want to learn more about our center, about our parish, you may see me outside after Mass by the steps leading out of the foyer. For our notices for this week, the month of January he has not been kind to us here at St. Gerard. Condolences to Kagondo family of Holy Trinity, small Christian community, on the passing of Mrs. Rutendo Kagondo on Wednesday, the 31st of January, and who was laid to rest in Zimba on Friday, the 2nd of February. Tnoti mwea wa Rutendo Kagondo, ne mwea eva tenderwose wa kafa. Registration is now in progress for infant baptism sessions, which will start at the end of February. Kindly contact Mr. Gilpin or Mrs. Chitsinde for registration. And also to note that parents can now register their children for First Holy Communion with my muteto. And adult guild registration is now in progress Forms can be collected after both masses from first stage teachers who will be outside or you may also collect from the parish office. The Catholic Charismatic Renewal will have praise and worship training on Saturday, 10th February here at St. Gerard's. This will be running from 4 a.m. up to 4 p.m and we are all invited. 
and a reminder to small Christian community fundraising representatives to please submit the contributions for Kodakwashe Munjengi's appeal today. And as has been advised, we do have the live stream company who are streaming our 8 a.m. masses. So we are open to share the links with all our relatives who are in the diaspora. And if we are also not able to come for physical mass, we may get to attend service online. So the links have been shared. And once again, thank you to the live stream company. You may see them outside after mass to learn more about their services. We do have the Pauline sisters who are with us today. They are selling Catholic books outside. So they do have Bible diaries going for $8, lit liturgical calendars for a dollar, as well as pocket diaries, and the Stations of the Cross as we get into Lent also for a dollar. They do have a wide range in their catalog, so do see them at their table outside. Next Sunday, leading Mass, the 8 a.m. Mass will be led by Sacred Heart Small Christian Community, and the 11 a.m. Mass will be led by St. Alphonsus Small Christian Community, and so may members join choir practice after Mass. Happy Missionary Childhood Day to you all, particularly to the Missionary Childhood. Thank you. You have a wonderful Sunday. So congratulations to the children. Um, I'm actually very happy for you. You led by example. Uh, you showed us uh, that from an early age you can actually be self-sustaining. And I encourage other young people to emulate these young ones. They are very creative. They know how to source money. In fact, they should join the Pauline sisters. Pauline sisters, please rise. Those are the business women of our religious life. They will be outside. <laughs> um, they will be selling uh, different books. In fact, let me tell you in advance that those ones which I used to sell, I used to get from them. So if their prices are lower... <laughs> know that these are the wholesalers. They are <laughs> and they have, they, they have a variety. They are, they are now, they just came to Zimbabwe. They were not in Zimbabwe. They just established a community and they've taken over Synod. Um, so you will see them outside. We hope they will even establish a repository here if they, if they want. Last time we said the Young adults, please remain. And the, the response was overwhelming. We, had, we now have close to 100 young people in this parish who registered. And today we are saying those between 13 and 18 who don't belong to any guild or association, please remain. We encourage parents not to, again, rush. You are not going to rush to the cars anyway because you've been told to, to take it slow. By the, because we want to register them and to be able to talk to them. Those who are below 13, please encourage them to go to Sunday school. Every morning uh, before um, offertory, they will be outside with the catechist. So we, I see a few of them there. If you have your child with you, please reconsider. They need to join those ones for Sunday school, every Sunday, so that they are, they are trained. And um, I also want to highlight maybe my Chumbiri to thank my Chumbiri and team we have uh, the elderly and the vulnerable so we are starting a clinic please rise so that they can see you Saka Varku Varku Batirana and Wamu Gadira Clinic Panopa St. Gerard's St. Gerard's Clinic so you 
feel free to support uh, initiatives that they are trying to comply with the city of Harare requirements and the Ministry of Health requirements to establish that clinic. I also, I think there's Mai Chungoka and the other team who are here. They are working on, on the Adoration Chapel. They're going to put uh, lights that will help you focus as you pray and music that will be playing in the background as you pray. They've already uh, footed the bill, but they want to do more so that your prayer experience may be enhanced. I don't see them here. So there are, people are doing a lot in the parish uh, as individuals, and you are also welcome to contribute in any way to make this parish uh, better and help uh, people worship better. So let us bow our hands and ask for God's blessing. The Lord be with you. Almighty God, bless us, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of the Lord.